Hey guys, so I am back with another makeup look and this is going to be the beautiful, colorful makeup look that I'm going to be doing today. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to be starting off by applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And I kind of tried this, um, these shades out on my arm with using concealer, primer potion, concealer, setting it with powder, and see which one would give me the best payoff. And I found that the using the primer potion worked best, so that's why I'm ending up using this instead of concealer. So next I'm going into this yellow shade from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and this palette actually doesn't have any names for the shades um, just to keep that in mind while I'm going through the video um, but I do use the yellow shade and apply that to the inner portion of my eye and I'm going to kind of build this, build this look going out to the outer base so I'm starting in the inner corner first with the first shade. Next I'm going to go into that same palette and I'm going to take the orange shade from this palette and blend it into the yellow. This look does take a lot of back and forth um, between the colors to make sure it's blended and seamless. So you'll see a section here where you'll just see me going back and forth between the shades throughout the video. With looks like these you kind of have to do that so that it looks blended and that there aren't any harsh lines. The next shade I'm going to start working with is Olay. This is from the Queen palette from Juvia's Place and I am again blending that into the orange and I do use a different brush for each shade. The next shade that I'm going into, this is Seven from the Queen palette. I'm actually going to apply a little bit of that just to kind of blend out that red before I go into the last shade. I don't use a lot of this shade, but I kind of wanted to blend out that red a little bit so that it transitions better with the next shade. Next, I'm going to go into the shade the purple shade from the Zulu palette and I'm going to apply that to the outer V and just work that in with what little space I have left in that outer V area. For this section, you're pretty much going to see me go back and forth um, between all the colors just to make sure it's really blended and seamless. So you'll see me go in with the pink, the red, the orange, and yellow, and I'm kind of 
wiggling my brush back and forth between the shades so that it's nice and seamless. So this section, you'll see me do a lot of that blending. So now I'm just going to blend out the edge of that purple with that sister to sister shade from the Queen palette and then after that I'm just going to apply the same shades on my lower lash line as well. And I also do apply my lashes and liner off camera just because it usually takes me a while with the lashes. So now I'm going to work on the face. I'm going to go on with the Too Faced uh, Hangover Primer and I'm going to apply that to my face before we hop into the foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I'm going to be using the shade 310 Burkina and I'm just going to blend that out with their um, foundation brush as well. This foundation is just full freaking coverage guys. Like it's crazy to me how full coverage this foundation is. Next, I'm going to go in with the concealers number 4 and number 13, and I'm going to use that to contour and highlight. If you guys see me talking and dancing and bopping around, it's because I was playing music while I was doing my makeup, so I was so hyped while I was doing my makeup. So I'm sorry that you guys are seeing that, but I was having a good time.
now I'm gonna go in with the Kalahari powder from Juvia's Place as well and I am just going to apply that to my under eye and high points of my face where I highlight it. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the shade Namib. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but it's their darkest setting powder and I'm just gonna use that to set my face. Now I'm going to go in with the Black Radius uh, Contour Palette in the shade, um, I think this is the contour shade, and I'm just going to use that to set my contour. And then I'm going to use the shade Sculpt from that same palette just to kind of, I don't want to say contour my nose, but I really just did this to blend out that front part of the eyeshadow look because I felt like it looked a lot better once I did that. Next I'm going to go into this lighter pink shade from the Zoo palette and I'm just going to use this as a blush. Now I'm going to go in with this last shade. This is Nubia from the Magic palette. It's a really nice yellow gold shade and I'm just going to apply it on top of that yellow that I already laid down just to give it a nice energy dark highlight. This shade was super pretty when I did this. Um, it really, I feel like it really brought the look together and I did apply some like setting spray to make it pop a lot more. And the highlighter that I'm using is the Tri Volume 2 highlighter. Finally, for the lips, I wanted to keep this super neutral because since the eyes were so busy, I went in with my Chestnut Lip Pencil from MAC and I just went in with a kind of glittery, sparkly lip gloss from ColourPop. This is Stilo. It was part of the Ellery collab and I just apply that to my lips and this look just came out so freaking pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this different look here on my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Bye.